video, we are going to compare the old ambient occlusion node to the new one which has been released in Substance Designer 5.6. So in order to do this test, what I did, I took um, a height map that I grabbed on Substance Source. Uh, basically, it's uh, the dirt with tire marks. Uh, so I, what I did, I just imported the SVS AR directly within Substance Designer and I isolated the height map that you can see here. So let's try this first with the old ambient occlusion node that you have here. Sorry, here it is. So this is what we had before by default. So of course you can play with the parameter define and it has been really useful to, to build uh, a lot of, of uh, filters, for example, or effects. Uh, but if you compare with the new one, the result is night and days, uh, as you can see. So the old one and the new one. You see that there is way more detail, details extracted in the new one. And by the way, you see that right now you can use it's in CPU mode. If I put in GPU mode, it's even faster than the, the old one. You can you have less parameter, but they are, let's say, more self explanative and it gives you really good results. The way to compare this is just to extract the uh, the baked ambient that we have here and the baked ambient and actually what is funny is that the the node is even more precise than uh, the baking in some in some uh, cases like this one so if i look at this i'm going to get closer to what we have have something like this maybe i think I have to change the radius a bit, but even there, if I put in one here and one, you see that if we compare both, we still have more details in the ambient occlusion, and obviously way more than the one with the old uh, ambient occlusion nodes. So that's it for this video. I hope it uh, the differences is crystal clear. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.